In this video, I'm going to show you how to automate the creation and placement on a sheet of interior elevations. Hi everyone, Alberto here with BIM Lounge. Good to see you. Make sure you don't miss any of our weekly BIM productivity videos. Now for this exercise, we're going to use two free plugins, one called uh, 22 and the other one is PyRabbit. I'll put a link in the description for both. Now let's get to work. Now before we start, take a look at this amazing project that I found for this exercise. Now apologies for my voice, uh, the allergies are doing this to me. Now before we begin with uh, this type of task, I would recommend that you have a view template for interior elevations. And make sure you have the room naming convention and make sure that the rooms are named correctly because our elevations are going to be named after the rooms. The only other thing I would suggest is that since the elevation markers are going to be placed in the center of the room, and this is the center of the room, just make sure that the room tags are off the center so you don't get that overlap. So I got it ready so as soon as we get the elevations in, they're going to be in the right spot. But you can always change it later. So now we're ready to head over to the 22 plugin, and it's a free plugin, and I'll put a link in the description. Room tools, create views. And for this exercise, I'm just going to create all these elevations, but make sure you only select the rooms that you want elevations for. Now, elevation, and this is where you pick the marker type or view type. So elevation interior. And in my case, I'm going to select this scale, make sure it's the right scale. This is the, where you would put the offset for the crop region. And uh, just pay attention to the naming convention that will be applied. I think what I would want is just to add a space between the room and name, and uh, or between the name and number. And then just leave this as a letter. You may want to rename it later based on the actual direction that the marker is looking at but i think we're ready to create the view and as you can see the markers have been created they're centered in the room what i re would recommend is that when you see the elevations here you select all the elevations and you pick the correct view template so for example mine is quarter inch interior elevation and that way they'll come in with the right scale and the right visibility and graphics now, you may have noticed that the marker here is not correct, and we'll fix that in just a minute. At this point, we're ready to place all these views on a sheet, and I would highly recommend we use a tool like PyRevit, and again, I'll put a link in the description, because PyRevit lets you, for example, if we select all the views, we can head over to the view, add views to sheet and this is asking if we want to use the views I just selected and of course yes because it's a lot easier to select them from the, the view browser or the project browser and um, this is the sheet that I want to put them on and I select and this is mainly because I want to show you how the details populate the uh, interior elevation marker great now let's head over to the sheet and as you can see, we have all the views on a sheet. Now let's take a look at, for example, this view. And this uh, is showing like this, obviously, because the marker is rotated. But if you head back to your plan, this is happening because the tool currently doesn't read the direction of the wall but it just places the markers on a north south east west direction but in this case it's a it's an easy fix because i can just select the view there and with the filter let's make sure we're not picking something else so elevations and views that works and then i just know that i can rotate this 45 degrees and if you don't know the angle, you can measure it. It's easy to measure and just put in the right angle. And then when we go back to the actual interior elevation, you see that we have straight elevations now. So 
So what can we automate next? Well, I have a video that shows how to automate the creation of elevation outlines on the sheet. So make sure you check that out too. Now, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.